I wanted to attack Iran. Isn't it amazing? I have a big pile of papers. This thing just came up. Look. This was him. They presented me this. This is off the record, but they presented me this. This was him. This was the Defense Department and him. Wow. We looked at some. This was him. This wasn't done by me. This was him. Yeah. All sorts of stuff. It's pages long. Look. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let's see here. Look at that. Yeah. I just found, isn't that amazing? This totally wins my case, you know. Mm -hmm. Except it is like highly confidential, yeah. <laughs> secret. This is secret information. But look, look at this. You attack. And Hillary would print that out all the time, you know. <laughs> private it, email. No, she'd send it to yeah. Anthony Weiner. She'd less it. Yeah. See, as president, I could have been less yeah. about it. Now I can't, you know. But Laughing about how Hillary Clinton would also do the very illegal thing that Donald Trump is doing is astounding. But yes, the leaked audio of Trump showing highly confidential documents to his staff relating to invading Iran has finally been released by CNN. And it does confirm that Trump did in fact have highly classified documents about Iran and that he confessed that he can no longer declassify them. I can't even begin to wrap my head around the fact that this man was in charge of deciding whether or not we attack Iran in the first place. But in very predictable fashion, Trump lashed out via his failed uh, social media site, Truth Social, at the illegally leaked CNN tape attacking the FBI and DOJ. So let's take a look at that. He posted this. The deranged special prosecutor, don't know how he decided to capitalize the first letter in all of those words, but he did, as if that's his title. Jack Smith, working in conjunction with the DOJ and FBI, illegally leaked and spun a tape and transcript of me, which is actually an exoneration rather than what they would have you believe. This continuing witch hunt is another election interference scam. They are cheaters. And thugs. Now, <laughs> I don't know about you, Ben, but I don't think anything I heard him saying in that clip would, I would classify as him being exonerated. He's literally holding up a document to his team and being, look, look, I have this illegal document. I could have declassified it before. Now I can't anymore. And they're like, yeah, when Hillary did that, it was really illegal. <laughs> Yeah, no, but technically Trump's right because if you spin something a full 360 degrees, it's still illegal. <laughs> and so a lot of people don't realize that, but there's a kernel of truth in what the former president says. And I respect the man greatly. I'm kidding. I, res I, re I take those words back. The universe doesn't understand sarcasm. Sorry, universe. Uh, it's unbelievable. He's not even trying with his excuses anymore. He's not even trying hard. He literally is like the tape where I admit to where I'm currently live. He's not even talking about a crime he did do. He's committing the crime on the tape. And still somehow making fun of Anthony Weiner, like his old talking points seep in from his little comedy routine he does in his arenas around the world. I'm a man with a great respect for comedy routines, being that's what I do. But I know the context for them. Like when I ran for president, I did not do my comedy routine. But he's there committing active crimes against the nation and is saying, but. Wiener's a pervert and wore colorful pants. We all know that very much. Here's the uh, attack plans for, for Iran. And then his excuses are just like, they're spinning it. He's deranged. Spinning what? You, I mean, it's, it's so funny how he just, he's such a narcissist with such a deep insecurity at the same time. He needs to somehow spill out every bit of damning evidence, not just sharing the classified document with people who are writing a stupid political biography, pointless. He then has to say, this is classified. Then he has to say, I can't declassify it. Basically saying, therefore debunking all of my previous arguments I publicly made. Isn't that fun? Isn't that great? It's really great, I believe so. I mean, it's, it's amazing. It is amazing. You know what, though? I think that he should be a little bit more grateful to Anthony Weiner. I am firmly of the belief that Anthony Weiner bears a strong responsibility in the reason that Hillary Clinton did not win the election and why the investigation was reopened to her. But that's a conversation for another day. So we are not <laughs> putting our weight behind Donald Trump. Um, he has some heavy hitters though, throwing their weight behind him, including washed up Fox News host, Mark Levin, 
who tweeted out his very way too long message of support that we have a, an excerpt of here. While beating their chest about the horrors of Trump holding classified information, the fact is that the corrupt Biden DOJ, sleazy Jack Smith's office, and the usual corrupt media lap dogs have publicly identified, characterized, and even released whatever classified information is known to the public. In this, they've committed scores of felonies, interfered in a presidential election, and have pushed the nation to the brink of some kind of civil war while smearing and denouncing Trump and his supporters. Trump hasn't leaked anything to the public. They have, I'll say, I like the way that Trump sycophants slowly but surely start to sound like him. They start to talk like him. You see that his cadence come through in their messaging on subjects. Um, and like I said, that was just a small excerpt of an exceptionally <laughs> long tweet that he went off in a long rant about Biden and then Merrick Garland and for some reason tied China into it. I don't know how the hell he did that, but he did. And. Yeah. Uh, and the premise there of the tweet kind of also admits his people always also admit what Trump did wrong. It admits that there is something bad to share there. He's like, how dare the media and the corrupt Biden administration leak the bad stuff that Trump did? Even though uh, the key fact here, what's the key fact? Is they just leaked the recording, an audio recording where he is visually showing people stuff you can't show. You see, the problem with leaking classified stuff is seeing the classified stuff, not hearing about somebody seeing. Because hearing about somebody seeing, if you don't understand how senses work, is not a danger to national security. Idiotic Mark Levin, <laughs> Red, White, and Levin, or whatever your name is on your stupid show. It's actually seeing the thing. It's kind of like when you go to a movie and you keep your eyes closed, you didn't see the movie. Does that make sense? <laughs> I like that their messaging has really come down to, well, yeah, he definitely did the thing, but it's interfering in presidential election that you're investigating in it, which is more like, you know, I think that the interfering in the presidential election is coming from Trump doing the illegal thing. I mean, like. Right, <laughs> right. their argument is always that exposing facts of corruption of a person currently wanting to lead the country is interference. Their argument literally is, you should not report any negative story about either candidate as it comes out, as facts come to light, or that would be interfering in the election. Just go on their name and personality and lies they spew on TV and take a pick, throw a dart in the voting booth, pin a tail on the donkey. Hopefully you do pin one on the donkey and not on the elephant, FYI, when you go <laughs> into the voting booth. Political animal reference, boom. <laughs> Nailed it. But speaking of lies they tell on TV, we have a clip of Trump insisting to Brett Baer, not even a week ago, that he did not have, nor did he show any documents to anybody relating to the Iran tech plan. So here's that. I don't want to dwell on it, but according to the indictment, you were here at Bedminster on July 21st, 2021, after you're no longer president, and you were recorded saying that you had a document detailing a plan of attack on another country that was prepared by the U.S. military for you when you were president, the Iran attack plan. You remember that? Ready? You were recorded. It wasn't a document. Okay. I had lots of paper. I had copies of newspaper articles. I had copies of magazines. I know. This I is specifically a quote. You're quoted and, on the know, recording and, saying the document was secret, adding that you could have declassified it while you were president, but quote, now I can't. You know this is still secret, highly confidential. And the indictment cites the recording and the testimony from people in the room saying you showed it to people there that day. So you say on this on tape. <laughs> Now, Fox News is spinning this story exactly how you'd expect them to. On Sean Hannity's show, former Trump senior advisor Stephen Miller deflected attention away from the leaked audio and towards his whataboutism regarding Hunter Biden. We've seen this for seven long years, Sean, where the federal government, when it is persecuting, when it is going after, when it is trying to frame President Trump, they selectively leak in order to manipulate news stories, to try to poison the narrative, to try to create a false impression. And they've been doing this over and over and over and over again. Because the security state is very skilled at psychological warfare. They're skilled at the art and artistry that's often deployed in foreign countries 
of how to control the narrative in our country. My message to the American people is don't fall for it. And of course, we remember what they did to suppress the Hunter Biden story, and now what they are doing and have been doing to shield Joe Biden from accountability for his influence peddling with his son Hunter. And lastly, Steve Ducey, or as many people are calling him, Deucebag, theorizes that Trump's team may have leaked the audio himself to exonerate him. You know, regarding the leaking of the, the, this particular tape, when you look at what uh, Jillian just said, where she said um, Trump uh, posted on True Social, the deranged special prosecutor Jack Smith working in, conjun in conjunction with the DOJ and FBI illegally leaked and spun a tape and transcript of me, which is actually an exoneration. So you know what, if, if Trump thinks it's an exoneration of him, Perhaps somebody on his side actually did the leaking to CNN and Maggie Haberman. I don't even know how many people there are left on Trump's side. I mean, Ben, we've seen his attorneys dropping like flies. I, don't, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if there's still a couple idiots left who are like, you know what, let's leak that tape ourselves. But I really don't think <laughs> that, that even they, anyone behind him would be like, yeah, you sound good in this tape. Let's do it. <laughs> no, of course not. And it's just these people. I mean, they, they're they so good at bending over backwards. I would go to a Steve Douchey yoga class because I would learn moves I've never seen. I mean, it is. I've never seen somebody on television in a political news capacity that just has more obviously the vibe of like a straight up court jester sycophant. Trump's not even in the room and he's like, yeah, maybe because he said it exonerates him. Maybe he did it on purpose, even though he's not saying it. Let me speculate that maybe he released this damning tape because that's what he wanted. Because he just said the word exonerates him in a in a post where he's obviously scrambling, trying to uh, save his ass because he's obviously in giant, giant trouble. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, boss. May I tickle your feet? May I feed you grapes live? I mean, what? It's just to follow, to watch Fox News. To watch any of these opinion shows, there's occasionally like Brett Baer, occasionally people that are a little bit more serious news that hit hard. But then the popular shows, the ones with the big ratings are the ones that are just straight up cartoon character, complete jokes of human beings that are just never presenting a fact other than, oh boy, uh, Trump's great, right? Live, live footage of him currently burning the constitution while Nicolas Cage tries to stop him. He's doing it to show how you should never do that. We'll be right back. <laughs> I mean, duh, you know where I'm going. 